So in this kind of question, the question is asking you uh, to find out first of all zeros. And after that, they're asking us to verify the relationship. Okay. Verify the relationship mm -hmm. between zeros and the coefficient. So let me tell you, mm -hmm. first of all, uh, whenever we're talking about quadratic equation, so there are T three forms. The first one is ax square plus bx plus c. When there are all three variables, a, b, c are available. So second is ax square plus bx. The c is not there in this particular case. Okay. And third one is ax square plus c. Yes, Okay, it is generally minus C. It is not uh, not plus. You will see that it is generally minus. So, the, in the first case, we have to do middle term splitting always, and we have done this thing many a times. Yes or no? Yes. And in this particular case, always take common. That's the easiest of all question. Let me tell you, this is the most easiest of all. This is also easy. Over here, you need to do middle term splitting. This is the most difficult one. Whereas student find the these two as difficult. But anyway, so the second case is we have to take common. Third case is just shift it to the other side. I will solve it one question for you. Let me take one question as an example. 2x squared minus 5 equals to 0. So what you need to do, just shift uh, 5 to the other side. So x squared equals to 5 upon 2. So x value is root 5 upon 2. So therefore, my two answers are root 5 upon 2 or negative root 5 upon 2. So whenever we are putting a root, we, ha we have to do plus or minus. I guess you are already aware about this thing, at least. Yes. Any doubt yes. in this thing? No. So this is the final answer. These two. Okay. So this particular yes. question is pretty easy to solve when we don't have b when we don't have the middle variable now let me just help you with when we have uh, b but we don't have c so i could have solved one of one question from here itself okay so can you see this particular question so question number five so how will we do this thing uh, we will shift 15 to the other side, minus 15. Good. Equals to 0. When we are finding zeros, that means equals to 0. So t equals to 15. And t equals to plus minus root 15. So my two answers are t equals to root 15. And minus root 15. These are the two zeros. Is that thing clear? Yes. Okay. So let me just take all of this. Let's copy. Insert one page. Now the question was over there. We need to verify also zero. So let me tell you one thing. When we have to verify, so there is a property of zeros. So when we are talking about zeros, they are actually solutions. Hmm. Of x, generally we have a question in x, so we talk a solution of x. 
So zeros actually means alpha, beta. These are the two zeros. So we get two things. First thing is sum of zeros. First quadratic alpha. Yeah, this is for quadratic. We are talking about quadratic only. Okay. So in quadratic, we have two zeros. So alpha, beta. Sum of zeros is minus b by a. Okay. So, so in that question which we were talking, okay, this this was the question. Yes. So in this particular question, let's do sum of zeros. So root fifteen plus minus root fifteen. Answer is what? Zero. Zero. Yeah. So let's yes. talk from coefficient. This is from zeros perspective. This is from coefficient perspective. Coefficient. So coefficient. So if I talk from yes. coefficient perspective. This was the question. T square yes. minus fifteen. So if I write this thing in standard form, can I write this thing as uh, d will be zero square plus zero t minus fifteen? Can I write like this? Yeah. So what is my a in this question? One. A is one now because uh, coefficient of t square yeah. is one, and what is yeah. b in this question? Zero, and c is yeah. negative. Minus. Understood this thing. Now we will substitute over here. Minus zero upon one is what zero. Isn't it the answer is matching? Hmm. Okay, so this verifies us. Okay, hence, so we will do one more thing for product also. We will do. Second thing is for product of zeros. Okay. Product of zeros. Zero. So product of zeros is. In relation to coefficient is c upon a. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So what is product of zeros? Let us try that. Root fifteen multiplied by root. negative root fifteen. Minus root fifteen square. So it will be minus fifteen. Why did you only take? Root x Achha. multiplied by root x is x. Is equal to okay. So we'll do the right hand side also. What was c in our question? Minus fifteen mm. upon one, which is negative fifteen. So let me tell you, these two should match. These two should match. Okay. So these two will match, I should say. Okay. So these two will match always. So we will write just one single line, hence verified. Okay. So this is the question uh, which you asked me. Let me just go back. Any doubt in this? No. So, yeah. Let me just discuss. So, in this case, Milton splitting we will do Milton splitting, Milton splitting, Milton splitting. These two are different questions. So, let okay. me just solve the fourth part also for you. Okay. Four u square plus eight u. Yes, very good. So what we will do? Uh, I'll just write down the question. Four u square four u square plus eight u equals to zero. So I will take four u common 
u plus 2 equals to 0. Therefore, 4u equals to 0. And uh, uh, or u plus 2 equals to 0. Try to understand this line. When we are saying 4u multiply by u plus 2. So this is one number and this is another number. And we are saying the product is 0. So when can we have product 0? Either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. Understood? That is the reason we are equating it by 0. Now, so u equals to 0 upon 4, u equals to 0. So first answer, that means alpha you can say. So alpha is 0. So u equals to minus 2. So beta is minus 2. So this is the two zeros. So you can write also. Therefore, zeros are 0 and minus 2. So this is my first answer, what was asked. Now I will focus on this kind of question comes for four marks. Sum of zeros. Sum of zeros equals to minus b by a. And its application will be coming a lot of time. So make sure you understand this thing. So sum of zeros is, uh, we will solve LHS, RHS. I, I draw this line usually. So 0 plus minus 2, answer is minus 2. My left hand side is coming out to be minus 2. Let us focus on the right hand side. So if you want to write, you can rewrite this question in a standardized way. How will we write? 4u square plus 8u plus 0. Understood? So from this, my a becomes 4, b becomes 8, and c becomes 0. 0. So these are the important points. So I will use them. So minus b, b is what? 8, 8 upon 4. Answer is minus 2. Can you see it is matching? Yeah. So it should match. I'm again saying it should match. So let me just focus on product of zeros now. Product of zeros is what is the formula? It is C upon A. C upon A. So zero multiply by minus two is zero. So my left zero. hand side is coming out to be zero. Right hand side. C is what? Zero. 0 upon zero. 4, 0. So it should be 0. Mm -hmm. So it is matching. So I will just sincerely write. Hence, verified. Okay. Because I am just taking back to the question. Question is asking us to just observe this word very carefully. Verify. Mm -hmm. In case of verify, uh, it needs to be true always okay it needs to be true so i'm just showing it to you once again just copy this thing full and final and do the rest of the question in similar plan 